Mohawk. Mohawk River Trail, right at the one of the entrances into the Griffith's business. I've and done a couple videos on this in the past. And that's a lot of names. Now, I don't think the people are still buried here. At least I hope not, because that would be really eerie. But, uh... I mean, think of the wind power. To knock a tree down this big. Wow! I mean, that's a good eight feet in height right there. I'm not going to exaggerate it. As you can see, very big tree. I'm trying to show you some scale here. But look at the splinters on that thing. This would also make really good firewood. I mean, be a shame just to chop it up and throw it into a landfill or whatever. You might as well just uh, cut it up. Have a firewood company come in here or something and cut it up and use it for firewood. Or somebody can make some furniture out of it. But, wow. Thankfully, this was the only large one. And this is the uh, only section of the Mohawk River Trail that received any damage. Excuse me for my worn out brakes. Hard to believe it knocked down an oak tree. Pretty big. <laughs> A lot of damage. But the Parks Department or the DPW came in here and cleared it all out. I hope they don't leave it like this. Well, leave it like this for a little while. Makes people wonder what the hell went on here. But, uh, yeah, eventually, I mean, it's just a waste to leave the trees like that. I mean, cut it up, sell it as firewood. City could actually make some money. Or give it away free. I mean, give it to campgrounds or something and let them sell it. I mean, put it to use. More damage here. Very big tree. But look how that just splintered. Right off. As you can see, I mean, got a nice that. little arch right here. Wow. No, have to cut that down for safety reasons. But before this tornado came, and it started on Muck Road in Rome, New York. You can look it up on, say, Google Earth. And it ended on Perimeter Road on Griffiths Airport. That's how far it traveled. Not very far, about four and a quarter, four and a half miles. But still, I mean, and some of the damage, of course, was not by tornado. It was simply by very strong wind. And then the tornado, of course, redeveloped, at least according to other weather professionals but most of these trees were completely uprooted and that's thanks to the rain that we had previous to the tornado that kept the ground saturated this was just finished a couple years ago this patio area I'm surprised they don't put like a barbecue grill out here One of these uh, expensive uh, info signs that you see all over the Mohawk River Trail. Uh, this one's been destroyed. Probably expensive to replace. 
and once again you can pause it to uh, read it swamp white oak the emerald ash borer sugar maple <laughs> But it's like the wind came from that direction and just came straight down and through. Oh, that's a nice image right there. Got the sun. But like I said, I hope they just don't leave it like this. Because that'll be really idiotic. I mean, of course, you're probably going to have to wait for state and federal funding, which probably won't arrive for three years. But, uh, I mean, just get rid of this. Gives it Rome, New get York, rid of the and trees, the rest of cut the it up. Fire affected towns, money for the tornado damage. Uh, to remove uh, buildings that are too far damaged to repair. Uh, uh, by the time she gives us any money, we'll have received most of that money through donations. Maybe that's what she's hoping for. Well, look how this whole area was just cleared right out. I mean, it was just... And what makes me wonder is, was there any homeless people camping through here? Because last year and the year before, there was at least one homeless person camping in this area. <laughs> and I mean right in this area. Look at the size of that tree that got just ripped right off from the top this is more area completely cleared it's like lumberjacks went through and clear cutted it look at that tree let's see here let me think of the height six twelve eighteen twenty i'd say a good thirty feet a solid thirty feet And that's where it <laughs> Look just at all that. got decapitated. Just completely. One tree falls and then they all fall. Because they're, you know, so close together. But this is the only part of the Mohawk River Trail that got affected. Look at the size of that. Something. Uh, I think that's more insulation up there. One thing this tornado did well is that it put insulation everywhere. My house got plastered with it. All houses got plastered with it. <laughs> but that's what that stuff is that's on all the homes and windows. It's uh. Hey. But the insulation is just everywhere. But now they got a big hole, so if they remove all the trees now, they can put like a skate park in there. Because they aren't doing much for the skate Man, park in uh, Bellamy. This make a good hideout for squirrels or an owl. But look how it's just completely burnt I'm thinking lightning must have hit that and that's a good sized tree look at that good sized tree <laughs> completely uprooted now if it didn't rain out so much the trees wouldn't have gotten uprooted or not as many of them but the ground was really wet so the tree roots really had no ability to hold on. 
But look how the wind just poof, poof, just completely uplifted it. Again, a lot of good firewood here. I'm thinking about having a bonfire real soon. Look at this tree bark. Oh, tree bark burns really good. A lot of oil in tree bark. It also